Hello and welcome to The Slice, your weekly roundup of international education news from the Pi. Earlier this week, I was in Barcelona for CanvasCon 2024, where EdTech leaders and educated gather, educators gathered to learn about the future of online learning, including the power of AI to unlock human creativity, personalized learning, and lifelong learning experiences. Now, you can keep your eyes out for all of our coverage of CanvasCon Europe 2024 up on the website. In Australia this week, stakeholders finally set eyes on the long-awaited report of the ESOS Amendment Bill, and contentiously, the uh, Senate committee recommended that the bill, which will cap international student numbers, should be passed, though with amendments. But now, um, stakeholders might face a month-long wait in this ne next critical phase of the bill, as the January 1st implementation date looms ever closer. Elsewhere in, in Canada, there's also been a lot of news going on related to the IRCC's announcement late last week of the new PGWP eligibility criteria, which relates to college courses. Now, sector leaders have been responding to the 966 programs included in the list, but luckily for you, we have analysis and reactions to the new criteria up on thepinews.com, so you can go check this out. And currently we are hearing from stakeholders that they are concerned that the, um, the programs are linked to national labour market needs so that communities might not be well served. And also they are concerned about the damage it'll do to the Canadian college sector. So you can go and unpack all of that and more at thepinews.com.